Back in CS4, we released a feature called Focus Blending. And I found that there aren't a whole lot of people who know about this. It's kind of like HDR, which is to say that with HDR, you can combine multiple exposures. With Panorama, you can combine multiple images to stitch them together. And with Focus Blending, you can combine focus elements, multiple images focused on different areas into one image. Just about nobody knows how to do this. I want to show you how to do it in Photoshop. Okay, so let's start in Bridge so that we can see the problem that we're trying to solve. And what I'm going to do is just shift click on these files and hit the space bar so that we can see a full screen preview. And what you'll see is that I've focused on each duck in each different image. So again, maybe I don't have enough light. Maybe I just want to focus on a different one. And the other thing that you'll notice is the images are way out of alignment. I'm not on a tripod. I'm actually purposely moving around. And so we want to align these and try to blend the focus. So there's a couple ways to do it. We could select the files in Bridge and come up to Tools, Photoshop, and Load Files into Layers. But you might not be using Bridge, so I want to show you how to do that in Photoshop. Okay, so over in Photoshop, we're going to come to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Same thing, slightly different name. And this whole utility is really powerful. I'm just going to select my multiple files. I could automatically align them here. I could make a smart object here, but I'm just going to open them up so that each image comes in as a layer in one document. Zoom in a little bit, and as I toggle these, I can see that we've got them all here, and they're definitely out of alignment. So that's the first thing I want to do is shift-click my layers and come up here to the Edit menu and align them. And I'm just going to trust Auto. It does a great job. We can see they're way out of alignment. At this point, I could crop the image if I wanted to. This would be a good time to do that. I could just go ahead and crop in. I really don't need all of that additional content. And then the next thing I'm going to want to do, once I'm satisfied with my composition, is try to get my focus back. So we'll zoom in a little bit. With all of those layers selected, we're just going to come up here to Edit again and blend those layers. Now Photoshop knows the difference between a panorama and a stack of images. And so we're just, again, going to trust it to do auto, just as it wants to. It's going to look at the content of all of them, and it's going to blend them together and bring everything into focus for me. So I should see a row of ducks that are all in focus. Okay, so not only is everything blended and in focus, but I can see that I've automatically generated really detailed masks of each and every image. And if I want to further edit or refine those, I can. So you could use this for macro shots when you can only focus on a little bit of content. You can use it when there's not enough light. And I'm sure there's other places that you could use focus blending that we haven't even thought of. So I hope you enjoy that one.